Good morning. I don't have any voice tricks to go over today, but I do want to show you something that I've been working on. It'll give me something to talk about, which, you know, you get it. But yeah, just let me wake up in a few. Some of you are unaware of this, but I have a second TikTok page. It's called Boy Simon. This is what I would call my writing page. This is for a story I call Project Samakis. It is centered around these two neighboring countries that are separated between men and women. Wenavith being the female country and Maver being the man country. The men will donate sperm to the women so that both their populations can flourish. There are a lot of restrictions when it comes to procreating. Rule number one, they can't do it the old-fashioned way. Also, you gotta be of a certain age. For example, women between 18 and 35, they're the only ones that can have babies. Also, every pregnancy, no matter the gender, it must be carried out. And this is where a lead protagonist comes in. Yes, I know I spelled heterosexual wrong. Fuck you. So Key is a male that was raised in Wenaviv. He doesn't know this just yet, but the reason he was able to stay in Wenaviv, despite medical staff had to witness the birth and approve to make sure nobody's harboring males, his mother, right here, she was approached by a government program called Project Semesis. In Greek mythology, Semesis was a woman who was in love with the son of Hermes and Aphrodite. Hermaphroditus, which you know that's where that one word comes from. But the story goes that he had rejected her advances. So one day while he was bathing in a lake, she had wrapped her arms and legs around him and said a prayer to the gods for them to become one, which resulted in Hermaphroditus having both male and female body parts. Now the goal of Project Semesis is to raise male children as girls to see if they would be quote unquote tameable enough to live within Wenevive. Of course, the powers that be, they know fully well that men aren't these dangerous creatures. At least not all of them. But because the female population is dropping, the government approved of this. And key here is the very first boy to be raised in Wenevive ever since the separation of genders. As you can see, it's all done in like an anime fashion. I might get some shit for this, but the characters in the backgrounds, they are all generated by AI. However, I do a lot of tweaking. I try to fashion this as if we were looking at a visual novel. So this is where I do all my editing slash photoshopping if you can even call it that. Here we have a dinner table right here. That's gonna be our background. And here is one of the main characters, Luna. So what I want to do here is erase all the background stuff so that I put her in front of the blue screen. I'll just go to fusion and matte and mask paint, which yeah, she's completely erased right now. Then if I go here, click invert. There she is. And what I'm gonna do is what looks like erasing, but when it gets inverted back, it's actually the complete opposite. It'll make much more sense once it's over. So Luna is Key's cousin. No, she does not know about his gender at the moment. Both she and her twin sister Aurora are named after two Roman goddesses, which in their Greek form, they would be Selene and Eos. Pretty much every character has some sort of name that has to do with a person in Greek mythology. However, I named Luna after the Roman equivalent of Luna because it's not too crazy. Normally when I'm doing this, I'm listening to a podcast or, I don't know, a Game Grumps video. I don't like listening to music. I end up getting distracted. This usually goes by a lot faster too. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm a bit self-conscious about people see the process. Oh, and also while uh, voice training. <laughs> so yeah, no pressure there. What inspired me to make this story was, I think back in 2016, 17, I was heavily interested in the concept of Amazons, the female warriors that were eventually defeated. Every year they go to an island with men so they could procreate. They would keep the little girls and then give away the boys. And I started thinking, what would happen if an Amazon kept her son? Now obviously in that society, that would be a very heavily guarded secret. I originally wanted it to be set on the same island where the Amazons lived in mythology, but in a way where time has advanced. It's kind of like the good dinosaur, where the dinosaurs just kept on living without being wiped out. Anyway, that idea got scrapped, and the setting would become America in the future, except all the men had either been killed or made as 
reproductive slaves. There are a lot more darker themes than what it currently is now. It's not just mainly focused on the female society. Speaking of, the second protagonist is a girl named Mercury. Now she is essentially like Key, except she was raised in Maver. It is essentially a spy for her family's business. Originally, she was going to have Key's full name, Kithira, which is an island in Greece where the myth of Aphrodite being born comes from. And Key's original name was going to be Mars. I wanted these two to have the Venus and Mars shtick going on. But then I realized Mercury's character, she's not really bloodthirsty. And she was more like Hermes, the messenger god. So I named her after his Roman equivalent. Mercury. One thing I find kind of ironic is that when I first came up with the story, I was essentially an egg, and I was kind of worried that the story would be too insensitive, specifically to those in the trans community. But once I did figure it out, that was a guy, not a girl, I realized that even though Key is a cis male, I feel like his story is relatable amongst trans men. Or maybe it's just me, I don't know. So as you can see, Luna is completely gone. Before we can invert her back, we're gonna click right here. We'll see all the spots that I missed. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually not that sloppy. Well, no wonder stroke duration was down. Anyway, I know people are gonna look at this as like some sort of political statement just because it involves gender. Just saying that you're trans or have a pronouns marker. People will associate that with political activism, which there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not for me. It can be frustrating. Like, I get scared to talk about some things. Like, people just assume that my body is a political statement. I don't have the brain capacity to deal with politics anymore. There's this one lyric from The Weeknd that pretty much encapsulates how I want to go about my transition. Last year, I did all the politic, and this year, I'm a focus on the vision. Okay, now let's invert. Here she is. What we're gonna do is zoom in and erase the outer stuff. This is probably the most time consuming, especially this right here. Try to erase background between strands of hair. Sometimes if it's possible, I just erase certain strands of hair. Try to mold the hair into something natural looking. Though so lately I'm trying not to do that. I think I've gotten better at it. It's basically just a game of erase this, paint over that, erase that again and then paint back what you want. Uh... Sorry, I don't know what to talk about, so I'm just doing the voice warm-ups. I made a discovery the other day that if you do warm-ups while changing the pitch, you sound like a vibrator. <laughs> a few words I could describe Luna. Naive. Overall, a good person. Someone who feels inadequate due to things out of her control. She and Aurora grew up with Key, like not just as cousins, but literally in the same house after her mom died. The twins were only a year old, so they don't really remember their mother. Okay, here we go. Wait, why does that look weird? Much better. Now we're gonna take a screenshot and try to get rid of the blue. Actually, I crop out the background, but we're just gonna skip that. We're gonna make a little square, then make a few smaller squares, try to get the details. Here we'll click on spill method. I just gotta get rid of the blue. Now there's different ways of doing it. You can go light as possible with rare, which oh, you can still see a little bit of blue, so. One thing I usually try to avoid is burnt, otherwise, Oh, never mind. <laughs> Usually when I do burns, my characters look like they've got a nasty sunburn. All the blue is gone, and now... Here she is, ready for dinner. And that's basically the end of this behind the scenes. Feel free to check out Project Semesis at boysimon907. Hey, this is Simon, four weeks later. So I made a Kofi where there's additional content from Project Semesis. I have one story featuring Luna called Pomegranate Kiss. It's in six parts. The first part is available to everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Wherever you are in the world, I hope things are going good. See ya.